uh, I would just talk to five to 10 businesses on the phone to see if it makes sense for me to even begin to run ads. Like let's say I was uh, talking to plumbers. Yeah, Mr. Johnson, yeah, I know you do plumbing. Can, I, can you spare 30 seconds of student marketing once to see if it makes sense? I'm doing this because I want to know if I should get into the space of generating uh, appointments and customers for plumbers just like you. Just want 30 seconds. I got nothing to sell. It's just research. And then you have that conversation. If it turns out from those conversations that you get some positive stuff, then you can run ads and invest $100, $200, And now you know if you can get people on the phone. Now you got a prospecting engine, right? Getting people on the phone, you're going to have a conversation where you now where you want to be. If they're comfortable talking about a fee, then you can do a sales engine. And that's that's how I check new markets. It takes like three, four, or five hundred bucks at the most if you include time to see if I want to enter a new market. And that's it. It's not particularly hard. And I don't do any fulfillment. None. I'm not doing any effing fulfillment. Don't even talk to me. Not directed to you, Howard, but like everybody. Don't even talk to me about. But you need fulfillment. You do not. Fulfillment is the cheapest skill set out there. You can literally like pay somebody like thirty bucks an hour, and they'll do all the fulfillment for you. Done. Great, I'm gonna go back on a, on a skill set that's paying me a thousand bucks an hour. And so like, I'm always sticking on prospecting and sales, I'm not doing any fulfillment. So to do a market check, just call five to 10 of them, have a conversation. If it looks like they're comfortable with the idea of, invest three, four, five hundred dollars of ads, get people on the phone, have a sales conversation, and then take it from there.